as those guys get ready a little bit later to show what they have for the next level. And I turn to my right, DJ to your left, and welcome in the head coach of the Washington go, Commanders, go, Ron Rivera. Good to see you, Coach. Thank How are you, Rich. You? Appreciate it. Good to see you. Thank you. So, um, jumping in here, what, what do you think is the deepest uh, position group at this combine coming in based on your meetings and what you're, you've seen? Well, so far, so far, you know, offensive line has got, got some pretty good depth to it. Uh, defensive backs do as well. You know, um, it, it's one of those things that a lot of times if you look at what your needs are, you always think, oh, they don't have enough guys, you know, because you, you feel like you really got to be able to fill those gaps. And, you know, for the most part, it is a pretty good draft. But one thing we have noticed that there's been a number of guys that typically would have come out have decided to stay for whatever their reason being. Coach, you look at the teams you've been on, the great teams you've been a part of as a player and as a coach, their line of scrimmage teams. Yes. It seems like you guys have continued to invest in that. This feels like one of those drafts where you can keep going back into that well. You can, and, and again, you're right. One of the things that we are looking at right now is, is obviously we have a player that, that, that we really like in Deron Payne and, you know, working to get that done. But, you know, you got to look at everybody, and, you know, that's why we spend some time watching this defensive line. Do you think um, it's a chance that um, your rookie quarterback from last year is your starting quarterback for 2020? Well, we're going to give him every opportunity. We most certainly are. You know, I've told everybody he'll, he'll get a start as, as QB1 for right now. And if he earns it and continues to earn it, you know, we're going to try and bring as much competition as we can, the right kind of competition to push him. And, and if he earns it, he'll get a chance. Coach, I was just looking through my notes from last year, and I, he was my 48th player in that draft last year. And somehow yep. he gets all the way to you guys in the fifth round. When you're, when you're in the draft room, at what point in time you're like, oh, this has got to stop. This guy, this is time to do this. We kept expecting it to happen somewhere around the second, third round, to be honest with you and when, when we when we addressed our needs in our first four picks and we're sitting there going he's sitting there looking at us staring at us with the first pick in the fifth round so we pulled the trigger and we said this is going to be our guy and you know hopefully he'll develop and, and be able to help us and and we really think that's the track he is on right now is that he's developing growing and has a chance to help us now obviously we we all have seen eric b part of the chiefs offense for so long is that the style that you're hoping to bring here? Or are we going to start seeing plays from the 1931 Rose Bowl being used <laughs> by the Washington Commanders? Well, like, what do we got here? We'll do whatever it takes. You know, I, I was really pleased with my interview process and really pleased with getting the opportunity to sit down with Eric B. Enemy, talk to him about the things that we want to do and how we want to do it. And, you know, he's a guy that came in with a lot of ideas. Uh, he's got a very good resume, and, and he's coached some pretty pretty good players. Um, we feel we have some skilled players that fit some of the things that he wants to do and how he wants to do them. So we're pretty excited about this opportunity. And before I, uh, I let you go, back to your uh, evaluation of the rest of this group, um, I know uh, – you, you would like to comment, I believe, about Jerry Richardson's oh, yeah. passing. Yes. Uh, the longtime owner of the Carolina Panthers, a man who uh, gave you your first head coaching job in the NFL. I give you the floor on his passing. Well, I just really appreciate everything that, that Mr. Richardson and his family did for, for, for me and for my family, giving me my opportunity to, to become a head coach in the NFL and, you know, getting to the Super Bowl uh, for him. But I would love to have won it. Unfortunately, we didn't. But he was there. And really mentoring me, giving me every opportunity. By my third season, you know, the season when things really got going in the right direction, uh, that came to a head just because of the fact that he mentored me, helped me find people to help me in terms of John Madden was a, one of the guys that I was able to reach out to, spend time with, to help further my education as a head coach. And a lot of it was due to him. So I, I was very grateful for everything he did for me. Well, it's great to have you here. You be well. It. Thanks for coming Thank in. You. Thanks Thank you, Coach. Coming. Good to see you. That's Ron Rivera, head coach of the Washington Commanders. Kind enough to stop by our booth here.